Download the Anchor app in Google Play Store or Apple's App Store. The Anchor app allows you to remotely monitor and control your Anchor Solix X1 energy storage system. You also can set customized energy saving strategies for your home. In the app's home screen, you can easily find the current status of your X1 system to see where your power is coming from, including whether your battery module is powering your home with stored solar energy or sending excess stored power back to the grid. You can manage your systems by clicking in the upper left corner of the app. You can also invite family members to use their phones to check the system status. Add other Anchor Solix systems by tapping the plus button in the upper right corner. Access the savings page via the home page to view how much you're earning, how much carbon dioxide emissions have been saved by using green energy, as well as the total amount of photovoltaic electricity generated. Scroll down to view energy graphs for each component of your energy system. The timescale can be set today, week, month, or year. There are four tabs, photovoltaic, load, storage, and grid. You can switch between these tabs to view different types of energy usage. By clicking on See More, you can access more detailed reports. You can download your electricity report to your local device by clicking on the top right corner. Click Storage on the home page to find device details, such as the system's grid status and connection status. You can also go to Settings to customize the device name and check the serial number. On the Profile page, you can change your account settings as well as app settings. Go to About to see what version of the app you're using. You can also check for system messages at the top right. Find the Detailed Settings page by clicking the Settings icon in the right top. You can also manage the mode of your X1 system. Here, you can also set how much battery power to reserve for use during power outages. The default setting reserves 20% of the battery power, but if power outages are rare in your area, you can choose a lower percentage. Let's take a look at some of the different X1 modes. Self-consumption. This mode allows you to maximize the use of your self-generated photovoltaic energy, where loads will preferentially use power from photovoltaic generation and stored energy in the battery, ensuring optimal economy. When the power generated by the photovoltaic system and the energy stored in the battery are insufficient to meet household load demands, the grid will supply power to meet the household's electricity needs. Time of use. This mode enables you to economically utilize time of use electricity rates to power your household loads. For instance, you can set this mode during bad weather when photovoltaic generation is low. In this mode, the system will purchase power from the grid to charge the batteries when electricity prices are low to be used when prices are high, saving on your bill. When selecting this mode, you can click to enter electricity rate settings and input the different time periods and costs provided by your electricity company. This step can be set up by your installer when configuring your system. If the electricity rates were already set up during system installation, there is no need to set them again. Go off-grid, users can manually switch to off-grid mode where the household load is powered by the battery storage and the grid does not supply power to either the storage or the load. NAM 3.0. This is a mode unique to California, allowing users to earn revenue by selling electricity back to the grid during peak price hours in the evenings from July to September. For NAM 3.0 mode, you need to select the 4 NAM 3.0 utility rate plan first. In addition to switching between the four basic modes, you can also select from the following three modes for further control of the system. Grid charging. This mode determines whether the grid can supply power to the battery storage. If you decide to turn off this option, the battery will not charge from the grid. StormGuard X1 can receive weather warning information to prepare your system for emergencies before they occur. If X1 receives an emergency weather command, it will charge the storage to 100% state of charge as quickly as possible and continue to use grid power for the load until a power outage occurs. You can also actively turn off this mode at any time to stop the charging process. Once the weather warning has ended, this mode will automatically turn off and revert to the previous operating mode. Rapid Battery Charging X1 will use power from the grid to charge the storage until it reaches 100% SOC. The rapid charging period can be scheduled according to your needs. Go to Settings and find Utility Rate Plan to enter and adjust your electricity rate settings. 
If your electricity rate plan is a fixed rate, choose fixed rate here. Go to settings WLAN to connect the system via Wi-Fi. If you have updated your home router's Wi-Fi credentials, you may need to check this setting to ensure that X1 remains connected to the network. If you are near the device, you can also choose to connect to the system via Bluetooth. X1 has a screen for intuitive interaction, allowing you to easily see the operational status of the device. However, when you do not wish to be disturbed, you can choose to manually turn off the screen and light display. You can also set the time for the screen to automatically turn off and whether to enable the screen's auto brightness feature. You can turn the system on or off via the app or by using the button on the machine. Go to settings and find SEN to see the serial numbers for each part of the system. You can check the basic status of the system here, including Wi-Fi, the installation location of the system equipment, the time of the last system update, and information about the installer. You can also rename the system and manage devices. In the subpage for managing devices, you can set the operating status of generators and heat pumps connected to the system. Go to backup history to see how many times the system has provided you with backup power. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can contact Anchor Solix customer service via the help and feedback section. Anchor Solix. Live in power.